Hey everybody. Um, so I've had this idea for a while floating around in the back of my head. It's kind of a silly idea, but uh, and I get to talk to a couple of people on Instagram about it. They're like, oh, that'd be kind of that'd be kind of sick. So uh, I ordered a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna try to make it happen. So this is the Birkin coaster set. So like any good set of Bir Birkin stocks, we need a few things. We need some good heavy leather. This is. Wicket and Craig's deer print leather in the darker brown. We got some thick cork. And of course in here, we got Birkenstock soles. So I only want to make four. So I think, um, I think just one of these sheets should be fine. So that's a square foot, which is really good use of material. I mean, these two sheets of sole were maybe $35. Uh, I think this is like $12 a square foot. This was um, maybe $4 for a pack of four, so dollar a square foot. So you're really not looking at much as far as materials cost is concerned. But yeah, so I'm just gonna barge some at the heck out of this, barge some at the heck out of this and uh, stick them both together before I start sewing. So I glued the cork onto my leather from the back just so I made sure I got a little off, but we're only gonna make four or five of these. And this is a square foot and it's four inches, so we should be fine. Um, so I'm gonna take my roller here and just really make sure this is stuck. Now, if you're going true to Birkenstock fashion, I don't think there are many Birkenstock models with actual stitching on them. But given that realistically, these are a set of coasters, I'm going to punch four, five circles out probably. If I can get six, I'll get six. And um, I'm gonna stitch around them probably in a matching brown thread. That's a Birkenstock. All we need is a sole. All right, I'm getting excited here. We're looking like a Birkenstock. So normally Birkenstock famously doesn't really stitch anything on their shoes, it's all glue in. But uh, I, I want to stitch these, do a stitch line around the outside in a lighter thread so that when I put the white sole on the bottom, it'll kind of match. Um, I have from Done more. I have these two colors I think might work and I think I'm gonna go with this one and this is cream in text 138. I'm gonna go with a five millimeter spacing here and uh, it's gonna be just punching these is going to be irritating because <laughs> you can only do a two tooth at a time. But if you mark out your spots or your holes, then you can go around instead of like punching through and then punching through and then punching through, you can do two at a time and it goes at least a little bit faster. Um, if you were to use like a 3.35, 3 uh, you might be able to get away with using the five prong. I don't know if the curve is small enough or is big enough. And the other thing is I'm gonna to wanna to punch inward. Cause remember we're gluing a whole sole onto this and this is cork so it's, you know, it peels. So we wanna get this, the stitch will look great from the outside but we wanna get this stitch kind of buried in here so that when we glue this, we have room for glue outside of the stitch as well. So I have six, but I'm only going to do four for now. These will be backups because the sole is so thick that I'm worried a stack of six would look like a, it'd be like that tall. It'd be comically tall. So we're going to just use the Dunmore cream thread and I'm going to put a movie on.
and so around these, then we can get to gluing them to the sole. So as you can see, I tested one, but I'm not going to show you yet. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to take a bunch of barge cement and cover. This is our sole, and we have our three coasters. And so we'll put a bunch on both of these because this is only going to be held on by the glue. Let it dry and then stick everything together. Now it's time glue is all tacked up. I think basically all I'm going to do is place those down like that and use my roller on them. And then once I get them punched out, <coughs> just uh, beat the heck out of the sole side with a hammer. Okay, so. The way that I have to go about cutting this, because the the buckle I pressed and I couldn't find any um, combination of things that would work. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a circle die to press it out the remaining three coasters. But I have to use like a, a cutting board, then a piece of board I have to put under it, and. It's a lot of, it's really weird because this sole stuff is super thick, but I'm not inclined to cut it by hand. So that gets it most of the way, but not all the way. And then if I add this shim plate under it to act as a shim, It should get the whole thing up. At least it did on the practice one. There we go. And then I gotta find uh, my hammer because this is not easy to get out. It's like an inch thick. There we go. I'm gonna take my hammer. Just kind of tap it out. I've never had to do this before in my career. There we go. Let me finish up the other three and I'll come back and show you the final version. And uh, they look pretty cool. The one thing I did learn is um, if you're gonna do, so this is one, I made like an extra couple, as you can see. And uh, I learned that definitely do all of your stamping and embossing before you put it all together because trying to emboss when you have EVA rubber or whatever kind of rubber that is, it just doesn't come out super clean. But I threw the Made in USA. I spelled Birkin wrong on purpose because trademarks and we don't want to repeat of the Louis Vuitton thing. But uh, yeah. That's what it is. So I'm probably going to make myself like a cleaner set for the house, just because it's such a cool little conversation piece. Um, as far as the Birkenstock sole is concerned, you can go to any cobbler in your area. Um, you can go online. Uh, Birkenstock's pretty open with selling if you want it with the Birkenstock logo, although it's usually in black. Um, Birkenstocks are made to be resold. so. They're not hard to find. Uh, as far as everything else, Buckle Guy sells it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.